guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another video. We are doing a puzzle haul today. These are all the puzzles I purchased during Black Friday. There's way more than I was expecting to get, so I thought I would do a haul video, show you all the things that are coming into my collection. And there are so many good puzzles here. There's a lot of new brands that I'm going to be trying. There's just a lot of fun images, and I'm excited to share them with you. So I'll try to link whatever I can down below, and we're just going to get into this. So I'm going to scoot to the side and show you all the puzzles that I got during Black Friday. So the first stack of puzzles here are these ones from Art and Fable. They came wrapped, which is kind of fun. Um, but they were doing a tiered sale where it's like 25% off, 30% off, or 35% off, depending on how much you spent. I ended up getting 30% off my order. But what was cool is that a couple of the puzzles I purchased in there, oh, I don't remember the section of the puzzle site. It's pretty much where you can find puzzles that aren't 100% correct, so they may have a damaged box. I ended up getting a couple that were on sale that were just missing the cellophane, which to me, not a big deal whatsoever. I'm going to throw the cellophane away anyways. So I did get a couple that were already on sale. I want to say they were like 20% off or so. And then on top of that, I was able to get the 30% off. So on a couple of these, I got a really good deal. So I'm excited about it. But I honestly, I don't remember the images that I got. So I have one, two, three, four, five from Art and Fable. But let's just open these up one by one and see what I got. I love that they wrapped it. It just makes it super fun, especially if you were like shopping for kids. It makes it so that they can't peek if they open up the box. Um, so this one here, oh, this is one that I did get from that little section where it was a sale on top of a sale. This one is called, let's see, A Tale of Two. Ooh, this image is super fun. So this is a 500 piece of theirs, but super fun image, lots of color. Um, it looks like there's just a bunch of people on tight ropes. So that will be a fun image. Let's see, the artist is Maria Brozowski. And this one, I think, will be really fun. I love the 500 pieces of theirs. That one looks easy enough that I won't have too many issues, especially with smaller piece count. Um, next, we have this one. I hope it's Christmas morning. Should just have Dave like put these under the tree. Um, oh, this is the, the other one that was the sale on top of a sale. This is called Mantis Mundi. And this one just looks like kind of chaotic, but there's enough things to work from that it's not going to be super hard. Um, but here is the image there. There's just like a ton of different bugs. The artist here is Robert Connett, and it's just like vibrant and colorful. Again, there's enough textures and different animals and creatures that there's enough stuff to work from. So I don't think I'm going to have too many issues as far as false fits goes, just because there's so much stuff to do. So this one looks really fun and ah, I love it. Um, let's move on to puzzle number three. Um, this is one of their new collection. And I was watching the live on Instagram when they were like announcing their collection. And this one I instantly love. This one is called Love Someday by Ron Treskin. I probably butchered that. Um, but this one is just like, again, bright, colorful, very cartoonsy. But the image is just, I love the colors of this one a lot. Um, there are some sections that may be tricky, especially like these like navy blue areas. But I feel like there's enough variation in color that it would not be too bad, you know? Um, so I feel like that would definitely be the hardest part. But I feel like everything else would be, there's like enough stuff to work from. <sighs> oh, I love this one so much. Let me see. Each one of Art and Fable's puzzles goes towards a charity. Oh, this one goes to Make-A-Wish. That's cool, what are the other ones? This one is the Amazon Conservation Team, or ACT, and then this one is going towards UNICEF. So each puzzle does support some type of charity, which I always think is super cool of them. Um, moving on to number four. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Um, this one is called, let's see, Art Cafe. It's so quirky and fun. So we have like this giant Victrola and we have a, like a keyboard and then it's like a little cafe scene with like the city. But the city has like a lot of weird things like the bookstore has like a stack of books on top. Um, it's just 
quirky. You know, again, enough stuff to work from that I don't think I'll be stuck. Pretty front image. And this one is for Habitat for Humanity. Let me tilt you because I feel like I'm slouching. I think that's better. Okay. And then finally, our fifth one. So this one is also from Ron Cheriskin and it is from their newer collection. And this one is called Peace. Again, similar colors and vibe. I just love the sentiment of this one and the colors and the vibrancy. Like this one I feel like will be so much fun. Um, again, nothing too too crazy where it's like kind of chaotic, but also enough stuff to work from where I don't think I'll be stuck anywhere. So this one looks absolutely lovely and the charity is Make-A-Wish. So those are all five puzzles from Art and Fable that I got. I'm excited to get some of their newer stuff because I feel like everything I have is from like once upon a time and their images are just like i feel like improving over time um next let's go into this random stack of stuff and then i'll go into all the things that i got at puzzly so i'm just going in order of the stack that i have here first up not from black friday but it was sent these from it was it's micro puzzles but it was sent for puzzle warehouse so they are now having them on their website and they did do a collaboration where i think two of the micro puzzle images are actually for puzzle warehouse which is cool so they sent all the ambassadors these little boxes with a bunch of stuff in it so i haven't really gone through all the puzzles but let's see what's in here so first up we have a little pin of their doggy they also gave some puzzle socks which is awesome because i don't have a lot of socks and this would be nice in the nighttime when it's chilly in here. Um, and then they sent us all five puzzles. And I think just one of them is for Puzzle Warehouse. The rest are ones that we could choose from. So this is the Puzzle Warehouse one. Has the St. Louis Arch. And that one looks super fun. I love the gradient sky on that one. Um, I actually have been in the arch when we were moving to California. Um, this one looks so much fun. Also kind of tricky. I just realized the name of these puzzles are not on the tube. So I'll put them on the screen. Um, but this one here is like a bookcase with a ton of different books in it. Which looks super fun. This next one is, oh, it's from their National Park line. Um, but I got this one because it was one that I had gone to before. Love the colors on that one. Looks super bright and vibrant. And then I did get two of their Christmas ones. We have this one, which is like holiday cookies or something like that. It says happy holidays with a bunch of different cookies, which looks super fun. And then we have this one, which is like a nice vibrant just Christmas tree. And so love like the collage craziness color that is in that one. So those are the five that they sent me. Um, definitely set on micro puzzles for a while. But I will say these pieces are just easier to work with than other micro puzzles that I've done. Like recently I'm doing the Reverie micro advent calendar, which I feel like is just so hard to handle. These ones I feel like still have like a sturdiness to them. So I don't mind them as much. Um, but they are now again available on Puzzle Warehouse if you are curious. So if you don't want to like pay shipping or anything from micro puzzles, you can just like add them to your car if you're going to Puzzle Warehouse anyways, which is great. Um, so I decided to share those with you and I'm super excited about the socks. I don't know where they got them from. Next move on to a little stack from Bits and Pieces, which didn't work out the way I was expecting. So Bits and Pieces was having like this mega sale on their website. They had a ton of puzzles on clearance and they were just like so many good deals. And I was like, had originally like seven in my cart of like puzzles that were just really good deals. They weren't necessarily puzzles I was like excited about, but I was like, oh, cute image. It's only $6, I'll put it in my cart. And then I realized like the whole reason I wanted to shop on Bits and Pieces was because they have a new piece cut that I've been really wanting to try. And of course they were not on sale. So what I ended up doing was only buying a couple of the sale items and then getting the ones that I actually wanted because it ended up being the same amount, amount that I was going to spend. First up, we had this one, which is actually Masterpieces, which I didn't realize. Um, but we have a Masterpieces puzzle that I got from them. And this one is super cute. It's called Peace on Earth very similar to the one I did last night, which is also Masterpieces, but it's this beautiful like town scene. Love the colors of this one. And I really enjoyed the one that I did last night. So I feel like this would be totally up my alley. Love that blue sky, of course, that is big enough. I mean, it's only three to pieces. It's not going to be difficult, 
but isn't that like just a nice sweet winter scene? You know, it's not too Christmassy. Um, oh, I got an Oliver. Hello. You want to say hello to the people? Say hi. Oh, he hates being picked up. <laughs> hi, baby boy. Oh, sweet boy. Okay. The next puzzle I have here is called Spring Meadow Cove. I think I got it for like $6, which was great. Um, the colors just spoke to me. It just seemed like a nice, simple design. And I remember the price was right, but there's that image. Pretty classic, more tr traditional than I normally go, but it's bright and colorful and very like honey easy. Kind of reminds me of Maine and love the colors. It almost looks like it has like a woven texture to it, but I just felt like that image was super cute. And then the two that I got that I'm so excited for, it's from their Cloud Nine collection. So it's their new piece cut, which is just like crazy and wonky. And I'm so excited to do them. But this one is called Great Horned Owl Eye. It's very, very close up, but isn't that so fun? Um, not an image I would normally go for, but I feel like for only 280 pieces, it's very doable. And I'm not used to this piece cut, which you can see on the box there. So I think it'll be a really fun video to experiment with these. I have done something kind of similar. I had those honeycomb pieces that I did, um, but it looks like it would be a really fun time and just like different. So I'm excited for those. And then the second one you're not going to be surprised about. It's called Hot Air Balloons and it's 493 pieces. And this one just looks absolutely phenomenal. Like with the crazy piece cut and the gradient sky and the hot air balloons, like doesn't this just scream at me? Like I am so excited for this puzzle. So I am happy that I only got the few and they're ones that I actually want to do than just like getting a ton of puzzles because of the price because it really wasn't gonna save me money if I never end up doing those puzzles. And this is by Ravensburger. I got this one from Amazon. Like look, that color, super fun. I love that gradient pink. So I feel like that would actually be pretty fun for me to do. And of course we have the Disney character is there. I ended up getting this one crazy on sale. So it was on Amazon and they only had like a certain amount of puzzles that were available. And this one, I want to say was like 65% off. Like it was a really good deal. I think I spent $11 on it for a brand new Ravensburger. Oliver, lay down buddy. Good boy. Yeah, you're gonna be a good boy, lay down. And then the next boxes I have are from Puzzledly. This is a website that I have been like drooling over for months because they have so many fun different brands on there that I've never heard of or have never done. And I keep looking at their website at least every few weeks or so just to see what they got, but I never have purchased them. And so when they were having this big website sale, I was like, ooh, now's my chance. And so they had a 30% off the full site which was awesome because there's so many brands on there that i would love to try but i didn't want to buy just like one or two at a time so i ended up buying like a whole bunch <laughs> and i'm going to be able to try so many different brands and i'm so excited for it so uh here we are with my puzzled lee haul i have i think 10 from this website i'll link it down below i'm sure you already know what it is so first up we have their actual brand which is called puzzledly and i have done them before i have enjoyed them before um not a brand i would typically like buy full price but this one was a good deal this one is a, a little strange as far as like the concept and color but this one is called snow darn cold and this is the image so it's kind of quirky you know because i'd expect like blues and greens but this one is like yellows and reds for a snow puzzle which is an interesting choice but i liked that it wasn't like too difficult there's a lot of stuff to work from and i did like the colors it's just like a weird concept so this one was actually on sale for five dollars um but it, on top of that i was able to get the 30 percent off so i only spent like four dollars on this puzzle which was such a good deal so i ended up just adding it to my cart because why not um it is only 500 pieces i believe uh, yeah, it's only 500 pieces. So, you know, it'd be a fun little Christmas puzzle that like breaks out of like the traditional snow and Santa scenes. So, you know what? I'll try it. And the price was right. Um, next up, we have this one here, which I don't remember the brand. It's called Gib Smith Gift. Um, and this one is, again, 500 pieces. The artist is Greg Paprocki. And it's 
called Wild and Wooly. This one is just, I love the image of this one. We had a ton of, of images to choose from, and honestly, choosing one from all of these different brands was really tricky. But here you have the full image. There's just so many different layers to work from. You have the sky, you have the mountains, you of course have the bison and its baby, and then all like, just like the scene around it. It just looks really fun. The box seems really sturdy, and I'm very excited to try this brand out. So please let me know which puzzles of these you are interested in. I might do like a trying a bunch of new brands video and just try a bunch of these in all at once. So, so the next one here is from the brand Badge Bomb. It's from their Imaginary Journey line, and it's called Pollinator Playground by Kate Sutton. And look at this perfect spring image. You have this really fun patterned rainbow and then we have all the little butterflies and birds and flowers like it's such a fun little springtime scene and what i enjoy about this 500 piece the box is so compact but it's still really sturdy and i feel like this is like perfect is if you're short on space like this is absolutely perfect but the size of the pieces if you can see is still like a traditional pea size which is like great so i'm excited to try this brand out it does look like they have a lot of sustainability things we have one percent for the planet so lots of good things going for that brand this one i think is from willow creek press they don't have any branding on this box but i'm pretty sure that's the brand and it's called in the jungle i've only done one others from there which was like something about donuts but it's a really fun puzzle and i really enjoyed doing it so i got this one which is super fun um it is just like a sloth with a bunch of other animals and a crazy jungle scene but i like how the jungle is just like a bunch of different patterns and colors so i feel like this will be super fun to do and again only 500 pieces so not a crazy time commitment and i know i will like that one next up I love the box of this, and I don't have the full design here. Um, it's not on the box, but it's by Elise Brienne Designs, and it's 500 pieces as well. This one is called, I don't know. I'll try to find it on the website, but here it is. Like, look at that box design. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, I feel like this is the type of brand that would be beautiful as a gift because it just looks lovely, you know? Um, but the back really doesn't have any information on it. It's a very, very simple box design. Would be a great option on like a coffee table or on a bookshelf, but love this one. And I'll have to, again, put the full image on the screen so you can see. And then I did get one from Reverie. Now they are a pricier brand from Australia. And again, I do have their advent calendar, which honestly struggling with, but I am interested in their other images because everyone that I've talked to has said their, their regular puzzles are fantastic. So I did get one from them. I could have gotten so many, but again, price point wise, even with the 30% off, I just like, I could have bought a few other puzzles or one of these. So I ended up going with one of these because I really want to try them. And so this is called Stories by the Campfire. And I love this image. So all of their stuff is like bookish designs, but this one here, like look at that gradient sky. This one, this is like so exciting for me. And of course me and Dave love camping. So this is just calling out to me. And they do just have like a couple books there that they're reading and they're just like playing by the campfire with some coffee. Like this just sounds like a good time to me. And again, the colors of this one was why I chose it. And I feel like I'm going to love it. Oh, there's a hot air balloon. Look at that. Oh, screaming out to me. I know I'm going to love this puzzle. So I'm excited about it. Um, and then we have two puzzles, which were also a good deal. Again, they had some things that were on sale and you could use, do the 30% off on top of that. So these puzzles are by Inner Peace. They're normally $30. They were on sale for 15 and then I got 30% off on top of that. So I got two of them. This one is called Vacation Puzzle and it's very abstract. We have just like all these fun colors and like geometric shapes on the back. Um, this puzzle brand, it's really fun because they have these like zippered bags for their pieces and they're all about like self-care. So this is the bag the pieces come in. And I just, I'm, I'm wanting to love this brand a lot because I just think it's super cute. Again, easily could be on like a coffee table or a book chase and it'd be a really fun display option. But this image just looks super fun. Um, it is a 500 piece. I know they do carry some 1000 piece puzzles now but I just love the colors and I feel like that would be really fun. A second one that I got is called Mini Moods Puzzle. And again, it is very abstract. I don't know what it's supposed to be, 
but I just like the colors a lot and felt like this would be a really fun one to do. So that is the second one that I got from them. And then finally, the last puzzle I did order through Puzzledate, but it was sent from New England Puzzle Works. There were two that I was really toying between. We had the Portland one, which is where I lived for a while, and I did live in Maine. I grew up in Maine. And then they had the Boston one. I ended up going with the Boston one just because I liked the, the image a little bit more. The Portland one is very like lots and lots of green, where this one had to feel like more things to go by. Um, but this one is called Boston, Massachusetts. It's a very small brand. They only have a couple of images. Let me move this so you can see. But I like the little bow. That's fun. Um, but I have traveled to Boston quite a few times. I've gone to the Museum of Science. Like I've done a lot. I feel like Boston was like our go-to destination for like a lot of school trips. So this one is super just nostalgic to me. Also, the USS Constitution my grandfather worked on when it was still called Old Ironsides. So I'm excited to do this one. Again, it's a brand that I have been like eyeing out for a while. because The images just seem so nostalgic and fun. Um, but I'm excited to, to do this one. Um, but that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I'll try to link what I can down below for all these puzzles. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.